All right, let's create first the template for this card. So file, new. I'm going to click on A5, so it's going to be 210 by 148. Change the orientation here to landscape and hit create. Now, why I selected this? Basically, A5 is half of A4. So when folded, you're going to get an A6 card. It's a small one, but there you go. If you want, you can create bigger. So you can create an A4 and when you fold it, it's going to be an A5. So for this exercise, I think it's going to be enough. Let's create some guidelines in order to find out where is the half of this page and create some safety margins. First of all, if you don't see the rulers, you go view, show ruler or alt R or command R. Let's find half of this. You don't need to do any math. You just go and click on the move tool, click on the ruler here and drag a guideline. So it should be around 105 and it will snap here. Oh, but what happened? We cannot see the guidelines. So show guidelines. There you go. Shows up here. If you want to delete this one, you just click on the guideline and throw it out that page. Now let's create it again and it will snap automatically to 105. If it doesn't, just click on this snapping option here. Let me show you a different way you can create these guidelines. For example, if you have it here, it's not good, so you don't know exactly where is it. Let's create using the guide manager. I'll have this dialog box here and if you click here, add new vertical guide, it will automatically add the guide to the middle of the page. Okay, let's add some margins as well. I think five millimeter margins should be okay. This is so we will not go over with our graphics. This is a technique used in the publishing sector, but we are going to use this so we will not have any text that is going to be on the edge. Okay, let's create our image. Basically that is it. This is the template. I'm going to attach this one to the lesson so you'll be able to download it if you don't want to create your guides. But it's a good exercise for you because if you are going to change the size of the page, then you will need to do this manually. Having this created, let's save it, put it here and put as card template and hit enter. Now I saved this one so you will be able to download it as well. On our next lesson, we will go and we will add the background and we will add the text and we will create also a custom brush.